We often have clients approach us with real constraints on their sites or their infrastructure that they just can't overcome with existing technology. Um, things like land is too steep on, on their mountain environment or they don't have enough room in an urban environment to be able to put in the activity that they really want to. Um, and it's, it's those constraints that are driving them to us. Our staff thrive on solving really big technical challenges. So we threw this problem at them a little while ago. How can we have a vectored zip line? We decided zip lines were great, but zip lines that go around corners are much more fun. So the technology that we've got here, it allows riders to travel along cable sections as well as around rails. And the key there is, is that we can transition between the two of them seamlessly. And the benefit of that is that a cable is the most effective and a low cost way to span a distance and the rail allows you to go around corners. And what that gives us is a technology that's adaptable to the needs of the client. The switchback is, is a system that can be applied in a number of different environments. In the uh, Flying Ox, it's a, a relatively small site with lots of rail and not much cable. It's about 90% rail, so it's more like a roller coaster. At the other end of the spectrum, you could, you could put the system on a mountain and take it from one peak to another, so you could have 90% cable and 10% rail for the corners. The key thing we can do with the, the zip lines that turn corners is we can firstly increase the throughput of people, so no longer stopping to get off a zip line and onto another one on an overall tour. So we increase our throughput. We need less staff, so there's less staffing costs for it because people are continuously hooked up. There's increased safety as well because there's no disconnecting and reconnecting from the lines and it's more fun so people are willing to pay more for the rides so lower costs, higher throughput, more revenue, winning on every scenario. One of the biggest challenges was to design a trolley that could actually run on a cable and a rail and uh, uh, the trickiest part of that was to make sure that it could transition from one to the other safely. So this ride has a short cable span in the middle of the, the rail track and uh, it might seem short but it actually really adds to the ride. Some of the comments we've had from the customers riding is they feel like flying. You go from what's somewhat like a roller coaster experience to a very quiet, soft and still motion on the cable. So while it's short, it's a real change in the experience and then they're back to the roller coaster and going fast. When you're designing a, a zipline system that goes around corners, it's, it's vital that you understand the dynamics of the rider and the trolley and the braking of the system. Uh, and this informs the, the track design. If you, if you don't have a full model of the, uh, the ride before you start designing, uh, you can get dangerous swing outs and uh, the, the rider's safety is compromised. Uh, Home Solutions have put together a, a comprehensive ride analysis uh, which can be used to look at any potential ride layout and adjust it to make sure that rider dynamics stay within a, a safe envelope. The switchback system has got a, a, an awful lot of technology uh, packed into a, into a small space and one of the key things the trolley does is manage the speed of the rider in a number of different ways uh, to ensure that they stay safe throughout the ride. Um, so there's an onboard brake which uh, limits the maximum speed the trolley can reach and that's independent of rider weight using our, our patented eddy current braking technology. Uh, there's also an overspeed stop brake, which in the event uh, that there's any brake failure on the trolley will bring the rider to a halt. Uh, and at the end of the ride, to safely bring the rider onto the platform, uh, there is a linear braking system. Um, so there are three separate braking systems on the trolley. So we've got a full scale testing lab here on site, so we test everything from roadside barriers all the way through to reinforcing steel, and that's exactly what we did with our trolley. We took our concepts and our ideas and we built small parts of it, um, and we slowly built up the complexity. So taking it, breaking it, building it again, um, and that's exactly how we know what we've got at the end is reliable. Now the track was built on site by a client um, that involves quite a lot of heavy fabrication um, and our specialty is the more bespoke engineering. So here in our lab we had the guys that were doing the testing and the braking, uh, then they got involved in the manufacture. So we started at the beginning, we procured parts and we built up a small run of 14 trolleys um, and then we shook them down, we commissioned them and we sent them off as finished products. The first ever product of this type You've done everything you can to make it safe, but until the track is fully signed off, you can't say with certainty that it is safe. Um, that's the whole idea behind commissioning. 
So yeah, with the commissioning, we would sort of identify tests that we wanted to, or some information that we wanted to get out of each of the trolleys, um, and we would construct sort of a commissioning log of the different trolley configurations, so whether that was uh, different weights of the rider, whether it was um, changing the trim brake speed, and that really sort of allowed us to understand how the system as a whole behaved, because you can test the trolley by itself, or the brake by itself, but it re when you when you sort of bring that all, it all together, it can behave a little bit differently. <laughs> um, well, we, we just basically needed adjustability, in it, essentially, and that's kind of what we got. Um, great thing about the rise that we're, is really customizable. Um, there's lots of small things that we can alter um, just to perfect the ride to each individual course. Home Solutions is part of a larger group of companies, which gives us a real unfair advantage because we have this series of experts available at our fingertips. So for a project like this one, where we needed expertise in structural engineering, earthquakes, fire and safety and product compliance, we just called on our friends within the Homes Group. So this particular project offered a unique uh, opportunity to look at this in a, um, a practical buildability sense and come up with uh, connect, simple connections to make sure this can be done really well on site when the site crew might not have many choices because of limitation. So it's really, really critical to get this done in the way it could be done on site. What I really liked about solutions is they don't mind being constructively challenged and you can tell them no this is this is this can't you know this is not going to work and they always take that on board and come up with another way to solve. The best part about working for homes is a being able to collaborate amongst all the subsidiaries and one of the things is we can bring our structural expertise to design of rides like the Flying Ox and create a ride that's structurally stable but also innovative to resist all of the dynamic rider loads and the high cable tensions. Clearance is very important on rides like this and because we had such a tight site we had to come up with solutions of where we would put structure without interfering with the ride. So in the case of the platform where people jump off, we had to come up with a hanging solution where the ride is the platform supported from above rather than below like a bridge in order to maintain this clearance and provide safety for the patrons. Developing new technologies is really hard work. Uh, you've got to show a lot of grit uh, and you meet a lot of obstacles on the way. Uh, what I'm particularly proud of is the way that we uh, as a team stick with a customer we focus on the, the end result uh, and we get the job done. With any world first sort of technology, you're gonna have some, some teething issues, shall we say. Um, so it was great um, being there on opening day with our client and their families and just sort of watching the smiles on um, their kids' faces coming down that ride and sort of knowing we had achieved it. Problems are challenges and we love meeting those challenges. That's what we survive and that's what we thrive on at homes is doing new things, new ways. So the switchback for us is a technology platform. You know, we've put the basis here to allow us to have vectored zip lines, go around corners, but this is just a starting point. So this technology platform we've got allows us to do a whole bunch of other things and we're going to be super excited to be able to show the public in the, in the upcoming months what's next. Watch this space.